Have you ever wondered what secrets lie beneath the bustling streets of Madrid? The city, a vibrant blend of old and new, holds a myriad of stories within its bounds. But there's a hidden chapter to Madrid's tale, a narrative woven deep beneath its cobblestone streets and towering skyscrapers. Think about it. The city's heart beats rhythmically to the tune of flamenco dancers and the chatter of locals in lively cafes. Above ground, it's a symphony of life and color. But what about the world beneath? What secrets does it hold? The answer lies in the maze of historic tunnels that sprawl under Madrid's iconic Gran Via. These tunnels are not just hollow corridors of brick and stone. They are a testament to the city's resilience, its evolution, and its unyielding spirit. The Gran Via, or the Great Way, is more than just a bustling thoroughfare. It's a vibrant tapestry of Madrid's history, its culture, and its people. Above ground, it's a spectacle of grand architecture, a testament to the city's artistic flourish and urban charm. But beneath the Gran Via, there's a hidden world, a labyrinth of tunnels that have borne witness to Madrid's tumultuous past and dynamic present. Imagine walking these historic tunnels, your footsteps echoing off the ancient stone walls. Each step is a journey back in time, a peek into the city's soul. These tunnels have played many roles over the years. They've been a refuge, a lifeline, a secret passageway, and so much more. Every city has its secrets, and Madrid is no exception. But few cities can boast such a fascinating subterranean history, a tale spun deep beneath the city's bustling streets. The story of Madrid's underground tunnels is a tale of resilience, of innovation, and of a city that never stops evolving. So are you ready to join us on this journey beneath Madrid's bustling streets? Are you ready to unravel the mysteries that lie deep within the city's heart? Because today, we delve deep into the heart of Madrid to uncover the secrets of its historic underground tunnels. Our journey begins in the late 16th century, a time when Madrid was expanding rapidly. As the city burgeoned, a pressing need arose for an effective infrastructure system. But it wasn't just about roads and buildings. It was also about managing the basic necessities of life, water and waste. And so, the concept of the tunnels was born. The city planners, foreseeing the challenges of an ever-growing population, decided to take a subterranean route. The tunnels you see were not just a whimsical architectural fancy. They were a practical solution to a real-world problem. Imagine the heart of Madrid, teeming with people, bustling with trade, and brimming with life. Now imagine beneath it all, a network of tunnels, quietly and efficiently managing the flow of water and waste. A secret world humming with life, hidden beneath the city streets. The construction of these tunnels was a colossal task. It required not only engineering prowess, but also a deep understanding of the city's geographical layout. The soil had to be carefully excavated, ensuring minimal disruption to the life above. The tunnels had to be sturdy, capable of withstanding the weight of the city above and the flow of water and waste below. These tunnels were initially used as the city's sewer and water system. They were the arteries and veins of Madrid, carrying life's essentials from one part of the city to another. It was a marvel of engineering and city planning, a testament to the foresight of the city planners. But as we'll see, these tunnels weren't just utilitarian structures. Over time, they took on a life of their own. They witnessed history unfold, bore the imprint of changing times, and became a silent narrator of Madrid's past. Indeed, these tunnels were not merely a means to an end. They were a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of Madrid's resilience and adaptability. They were the unseen threads that wove the fabric of the city's life. These tunnels, born out of necessity, would soon become an integral part of Madrid's history. As Madrid grew and evolved, so did the purpose of its underground tunnels. In the 20th century, the historic tunnels beneath Gran Via gained a new life, transitioning from their original purpose of managing sewage and water to serving as arteries for transport and communication. This shift was not a matter of convenience or innovation, but rather, it was a response to the desperate needs of a city in turmoil. The Spanish Civil War, a brutal conflict that spanned from 1936 to 1939, was a testing time for Madrid. The city was under constant siege, and ordinary life was disrupted in unimaginable ways. Amidst this chaos, the tunnels under Gran Via became a beacon of hope, a literal lifeline that connected the city in ways no one could have anticipated. With the surface world turned into a battlefield, the tunnels offered a safer alternative. 
They acted as conduits, facilitating the movement of people, goods, and crucial information from one part of the city to another, all under the radar of the warring factions above. The labyrinthine network of passages became the veins and arteries of a city under siege, pulsating with life and activity even as the world outside crumbled. But their role was not limited to transport and communication alone. The tunnels also served as bomb shelters, providing a haven for the citizens of Madrid. Imagine the scene. Hundreds of people huddled together in the dim, echoing chambers, their breaths held in anticipation, their hearts pounding in unison. The tunnels, once meant to carry water and waste, were now bearing the weight of human life, echoing with whispered prayers and the quiet resilience of a city determined not to fall. As the war raged on, these tunnels were more than just passages beneath the city. They were the silent heroes of Madrid, the unseen saviors that held the city together when everything else was falling apart. The tunnels had become a lifeline for the city during one of its darkest times. From their humble beginnings, the tunnels have become a vital part of Madrid's identity. Now, let's delve into the present day, where these subterranean passages have transformed into something much more than just a means of transportation. Today, the tunnels under Gran Via are a bustling hub of activity. They serve as a unique underground network, connecting different parts of the city in ways that the streets above simply cannot. Every day, thousands of commuters use these tunnels, relying on them to get to work, school, and everywhere in between. But these tunnels aren't just for transportation. They have evolved into an exciting cultural hotspot. Art exhibitions, pop-up shops, and even music concerts are held here. The city's creative community has embraced these tunnels as a unique and unconventional venue, bringing a whole new life to them. Preservation efforts have also played a key role in maintaining the tunnel's rich history. These measures have ensured that the tunnel's original structure, from the brick walls to the arches, remain intact. This careful preservation has allowed the tunnels to be a living testament to Madrid's past, even as they continue to function in the modern world. Moreover, the tunnels have become an essential part of Madrid's tourism landscape. Adventure seekers, history buffs and curious travelers alike are drawn to these underground passages. Guided tours offer visitors a chance to step back in time and explore the city's history from a truly unique perspective. The tunnels are more than just a means of getting around, they are a space where the past and present coexist. They tell a story of a city that has been shaped by its history, yet refuses to be defined by it. They are a testament to Madrid's ability to adapt, evolve and embrace change. And so, the tunnels continue to thrive, a symbol of Madrid's vibrant and dynamic spirit. They have moved from their utilitarian origins to become a cultural and historical icon. The tunnels, once merely functional, have become an embodiment of Madrid's resilience and spirit. From a vital piece of infrastructure to a symbol of survival, the tunnels of Madrid have a fascinating history. Just as the city above has transformed over the centuries, so too have these subterranean passages, echoing the heartbeat of Madrid's vibrant history. Born out of necessity, these tunnels were the city's lifeline during the early days. They served as a conduit for the city's water supply, a testament to the ingenuity of the people of Madrid. But their purpose would not remain static, just as the city above them continually evolved. As we ventured into the 20th century, the tunnels took on a new role. They became a sanctuary, a safe haven from the turmoil that marked this era. During the Spanish Civil War, these passageways were transformed into bomb shelters, providing a refuge for the citizens of Madrid from the chaos above. They were silent witnesses to the resilience and courage of the people, encapsulating a significant chapter in the city's history. Fast forward to the present day, these tunnels have taken on yet another role. They are now a symbol of Madrid's rich history and a testament to its enduring spirit. Today, they serve as a fascinating tourist attraction, adding another layer to Madrid's charm. They invite us to delve into the past, into the heart of the city, and uncover the stories etched into their walls. But more than just a tourist attraction, they are a reminder of the city's past, a silent testament to the trials and triumphs of Madrid. They remind us that history is not just in textbooks or museums, it is alive and well, lurking beneath the surface waiting to be discovered. As we walk the streets of Madrid, we walk above centuries of history, hidden just beneath our feet. Remember, the past is never as far away as we think. So the next time you find yourself in Madrid, take a moment to ponder what lies beneath.
The tunnels are a window into the past, a peek into the soul of the city. Who knows what secrets you might uncover?